attempt at anything in the air fryer and that's my homemade marinara. Oh my gosh, y'all. Spread the word, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> I lost my intro, so we actually have already filmed our whole day today. We had a really, really full day. I just kind of brought you along with the whole day. So let's just jump into it and show you how our day went. You know, starting out on a Monday, I drink coffee. So I made a pot this morning, and this is cup number, well, it's really cup number three, but it's only cup number two that I drank because I tried something with number two, and it didn't work. So black coffee, second cup of the day. So for cup number two, we have this bag of 310 uh, meal replacement shake. I thought maybe I'd dump some of that in there and it would kind of give me that kind of fatty flavor to it, but it didn't work. And so it didn't blend no fairly well. There's no fat in this bag. But you know, when I'm doing these things at nine o'clock in the morning, nobody's up to help me. So I don't know. Good morning, y'all. I'm getting a late start today. I am starting my day off with some coffee. I just have heavy whipping cream in here. I have been using my frother to whip the heavy whipping cream and heat it up before I put ugh, before I put it in with the coffee and it makes it taste so yummy. And then I've been sprinkling some cinnamon on top. Really, really good. So drinking my coffee and sitting here in my favorite spot in the kitchen in my favorite chair just finished reading my devotional getting the day started right i will check in with y'all later when i have something to eat i just finished my coffee and i am having a brownie my dad made some keto brownies for mother's day yesterday and they are so good oh my gosh y'all i will link the recipe down below because i found it on pinterest so 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 fudgy and yummy so i'm having one of these brownies it is about 12.30 and I'm gonna make some lunch. This is just some taco meat left over from last week. I'm gonna put some shredded cheese on it, heat it up, and then I'm gonna top it with some sour cream that I'm gonna mix with some seasoning. I just took a little bit of sour cream, a couple tablespoons of sour cream, and I'm mixing it with a little bit of this Taco Bell hot sauce. So we've got our meat and our sour cream. I am going to top it with a little bit of this Fresh Jack's Habanero Lime Hot Sea Salt. This is my latest obsession, y'all. It is so tasty. It's got some heat, but it's very lime forward. There's so much flavor. I decided to have it in a quesadilla, so I am just heating up a tortilla to get it kind of crispy, and then I'm gonna put the filling in it. Here is the tortillas that I'm using, this Mama Lupe's Low Carb Tortillas. I really, really enjoy these. I don't have them very often, but I really do like them. They are three net carbs for one tortilla, and I'm just gonna have one of them. I just fried this up, or I just toasted this, mm, fried, what's the word, I don't know. I made this just with a little bit of avocado oil spray down on the pan, and these tortillas crisp up so, so nicely. We got some happy mail, y'all. My air fryer, I finally got an air fryer, y'all. You have to tell me what I should make. Do you think all packages are for you? Is that what you think? You get so excited? It's not for you. It's really not. See? It's for mom. It's not for you, Hazel. There she is. Go wise. All right, so here's the little trays, and I guess they stack on top of each other, maybe? I think they just stack on top of each other like that. I don't have a ton of space in between yeah. them, man. I don't know. We shall see. All right, it's like 1.30. I'm done uh, with my live lessons for today. So this is gonna be lunch. These are leftover pork chops from last week. Um, I've got coleslaw, and then this is a chunk of blue cheese um, that we had for Mother's Day, but Erica didn't really like it, so I'm gonna eat that. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this ghost pepper salt. Um, this is Fresh Jack's ghost pepper salt. You gotta be real careful. That's a lot. It's hot, but it's got really great flavor. This is gonna be lunch. Oh, and I'm drinking an orange Coke. So this is lunch. All right, y'all, we got this air fryer. This is brand new to us. We got the Go Wise one. I got, the reason I got this one is because it comes with these trays so you can stack layers of things in so you can cook more things at one time. I don't know. First thing we're gonna do is try to reheat a steak. So, let's see y'all. 
and just plop them down in there, I guess. It's pretty big. There we go. All right, reheat. Five minutes, it says. We shall see. All right, it said to do five minutes. I took it out at four minutes because it seemed warm. So there's our steak. Okay. Well, I mean, this was my concern is that it would cook it too much for reheat. Maybe if we just reheated it for two minutes next time. Perhaps. It still tastes good. It's very tender still. Somebody got a haircut. Hazel. <gasps> Hazel. Hazel. <gasps> Hi, baby. Hi, did you get a haircut? Look at you. You got a big girl haircut for the summer. And there she goes, y'all. That is it. She is crazy because she just got her hair cut. Dad just, Jason just brought her home and she is all over the place. I don't know, did y'all see her little bow? She has a little bow in her hair. Her tail's so cute. Cool. Look at her bow. Sit. She's so cute. You're so cute. Hey, hey, hey. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Good Wait. girl. Good girl. Wait. Nope. She likes to be oh. in the Okay, sit. Wait for daddy. And look at mommy. All right, y'all, I got some mail that I did not know was coming, but I'm super grateful for. It's from Equip. I've seen people talk about this Equip chocolate protein. It's grass-fed beef isolate. I'm actually super excited to try this, but I think there must be a tiny hole, a micro hole in the microgreens, if you say, because these are all completely covered, and then we got this too, immune boost support. It, they're all completely covered in this like green powder so i'm guessing this somehow got open i don't see any holes but it's it's a powdery mess so we're gonna wipe these down and i will try these over the next little while and let you know what i think and rolling all right y'all i just finished doing a food prep that's what the afternoon has been consisting of we made these biscuits these are so good they're huge i should have made them smaller but they're biscuits with sausage and bacon and cheddar like look at how big it's like the size of my hand i made them way too big and then this is just we made some prosciutto bites actually there's salami and brie bites we made some of those this was just the extras that didn't go in the refrigerator jason's over here creating what are you doing this afternoon we're making orange uh keto orange liqueur like a grand marnier or triple sec yeah, so what do you have to do to make it? Well, you have to you have to get some brandy, okay? Okay. Um, and then you have to, you're really zesting the oranges, but it works a little bit better if you have these little bit bigger chunks, but you, you want it with, you want it like this without the white on it. Yeah. As opposed to this, because the white makes it bitter. Right. So you could, you're really zesting. You gotta be really careful with the, with the peeler. Um, but just do a real light touch. Do a light touch, but having these bigger chunks just work. It just makes it a little bit easier to work so with. So you're gonna put it down in the brandy? Is that so, what you're doing? Yeah, I'm gonna put them in. I'm just gonna repurpose this this growler that I have, okay. and I'm gonna put the oranges in there, and we're gonna go with brandy. And you then, can, how long does it have to sit before um, we can use it? Uh, it has to sit a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It takes about, well, obviously, the longer you let it sit, the more it has. So, the a more, few weeks? Uh, yeah, or probably months. more like four, three or four weeks. Okay. I'm, I'm going to speed it up a little, the process up a little bit, because I'm going to use some actual essential oil that we have that's just a good quality. I'm going to add to it. Um, and that's just going to kind of speed up the flavoring process. We're getting real serious about our drinks around here this summer, y'all. So we, we also made an egg casserole. We made Italian roll-ups. We did a bunch of bacon with Rosie Cheeks barbecue sauce, not sauce, Rosie Cheeks barbecue seasoning on it. This was so good, y'all. And then we've got a whole egg casserole here. So we've been really busy this afternoon. And I've eaten one piece of that bacon this afternoon and I have eaten two of these cups off camera. Chop with ice, pour the rum over and fill the glass with club soda. Stir, taste, add more simple syrup if desired. Do you need your little plug again? What did I say? I don't know. And you don't have to, it's fine. All right, y'all. Spread the word, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, y'all, I finally figured out what I want to do for dinner. We are going to make some lasagna. I have some palmini noodles that I want to use, but I also just got an air fryer, and I totally want to use my air fryer. So 
So we're gonna play with some toasted ravioli made out of zucchini. Well, let's play in the kitchen tonight, y'all. I am gonna do some slices of zucchini on my mandolin. Y'all, I got a really expensive mandolin for years before a house fire, and it was fine, but it was like hundreds of dollars. This is super inexpensive. It's this OXO Good Grip, and I actually like it better. It's easier to work with. It's easier to clean. It does really thin to thicker. You can julienne with it. Anyways, we're just going to do some thin slices of zucchini. You just use this so you don't cut your finger, and you just hold it, and you use that to make your slices. This is what they look like. So you want to get some of the water out of your zucchini, y'all. So if you're gonna make zucchini lasagna or anything that you're gonna use zucchini noodles for, you want to take some salt and just pretty liberally salt them and just let the salt draw out the water. When it's finished, we'll wipe it off so it won't be super salty, but it really, really helps to draw out the moisture. So I just set another paper towel right on top and I leave it for like 10 or 20 minutes and just let it pull the moisture out of your zucchini. So I am getting ready to make dinner tonight. I told you I was gonna do that toasted ravioli and lasagna, but before I do that, I just wanted to mention, Jason is kind of curating different keto cocktails. We're gonna have an episode coming up, so I wanted to tell y'all about it and ask, what would you like us to ketofy cocktail-wise? Like, what is your favorite cocktail that you would love to order out or you would love to make at home, but it just has too much sugar in it and you wanna know how to make it? Please, please, please let us know down below because we're gonna do a whole episode just about different keto cocktails. And so far, the two that he's made have been out of this world delicious. Right now, I am having a mojito with no carbs except for what comes from the lime. And it is delicious, y'all. So please let me know what would you like to see Jason make. Well, see us make. All right, I'm gonna get all my stuff together and we're going to start getting dinner together, y'all. Y'all, look at my pretty poblanos. I don't know what I'm doing with them and they gave me way more than I thought I was gonna get. This is what happens when you do Walmart order, but we're gonna roast these and do something with these. I'm not sure, chili relenos maybe? Depends on what kind of energy I have when I use them. But here's our zucchini. I don't, can you see this well, yeah. that it's wet? It's very wet. It has drawn a lot of water out. So what you're gonna do is take the wet layer off and then use a dry one. And I just kind of wipe the salt off. And then this is what we're going to use as our noodles. You could base a whole lasagna using these as noodles. I've done that and I really like it, but I wanna turn it into toasted ravioli. So we're gonna wrap them. I th I'm excited, I don't know, we shall see. So I'm gonna just let these keep sitting until I'm ready for them. So I'll probably wipe them down one more time, but getting this to draw the water out makes them more pliable and end product less watery. For our lasagna, we are gonna use these palmini noodles. I have never used these in lasagna sheet form before, but what we're gonna do is boil them for five to 10 minutes just to get them a little more tender, and that's what we're gonna use as our noodles for our lasagna, y'all. So this is the breading that we're gonna use for our ravioli. So I've got two eggs and some heavy whipping cream. I am just going to get that tossed and this is what we're gonna dip it in first. And then over here is my keto crumbs. I have a, this is my own recipe for keto crumbs. This is what I use for bread crumbs. Anytime I need to use bread crumbs, it's Parmesan cheese, pork rinds, and nutritional yeast. And then I just added some Italian seasonings onto it. This is parsley, oregano, basil, and some garlic and herb. And I'm just gonna get that all tossed for flavor. And then here we are going to start building our filling for our lasagna and for our ravioli. So what we have here is one complete, I think it's 16 ounces of ricotta cheese and the same spices that I just used. And we are going to add some Parmesan cheese to this like a good amount, probably like half a cup. And we're gonna get this stirred well. We're also gonna add one egg to this mixture. It just helps hold it together. So we're gonna get all of these combined and we'll be right back. So putting a little bit of our ricotta cheese mixture, a little bit of 
sausage or you could just do cheese and we're gonna wrap them like this. All right, and then we're gonna freeze them a little bit. Okay, while I was finishing up some stuff, I threw these in the freezer. So they're not frozen hard, but they've been in there for about 25 minutes. I just thought it might help in forming these and baking them. I don't know, we shall see. What we're gonna do is take it and dip it into our egg wash. This is just egg and heavy cream. I'm gonna dip it in there. Rinse it off a little bit, and then I'm gonna use a fork and dip it into my keto crumbs. Double dip, I don't know. Like I said, y'all, this is an idea in my head, not a recipe at all, so this is either gonna be awesome or not work at all, and I've kind of been hot as express today, so I don't have a lot of confidence in myself right now. <laughs> I'm just using my hands to finish getting that all coated. And then we're gonna set it over here. I'm just gonna keep making these and then we're gonna throw them in the air fryer and see what happens, y'all. All right, y'all, we've already done two loads of dishes. The dishwasher is running again. Look at this house. <laughs> Look at my mess today, y'all. That's not even all of it. Oh my gosh, what a mess. This marinara sauce is really, really yummy though. <laughs> I have never used the air fryer before, and I don't know if you're supposed to preheat it, but it looked like you're not. So I'm just throwing all these in here. I was trying to leave a little bit of space between them. This is why I'm not sure about the air fryer, y'all, because this barely fits in here, and this is not enough to serve a family of five. This is like our side tonight, and we're just trying it, but if you wanted enough to feed our whole family, I'd probably have to cook all of, I'd probably have to cook in stages over and over and over again. And I don't love that idea, but everybody keeps telling me I need an air fryer and then I'm gonna fall in love, so we're gonna try it. This also is not an air fryer recipe necessarily, it just sounded like something that might work in here. Okay, so I set it on air fry for 400, and then it was for 15 minutes, so I guess it just counts down itself. I don't know, and I don't know if 15 minutes is right or not, y'all, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so we're gonna build our lasagna. I made some marinara sauce and meal prep, so I just kind of slather it across the bottom, just barely cover it. Okay, I boiled these heart of palm noodles and then I strained them. So I've never used these before, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna just cover the bottom, just like they're regular noodles. The next thing I do is I take some of my ricotta cheese mixture that I showed y'all, and I just kind of spread it out all right, so I've got the ricotta mixture spread as well as I can, so I'm just gonna take some Italian sausage and evenly spread it on top, and then I'm gonna take some mozzarella cheese and spread it on top of that. And then we just repeat our layers until we get to the top, y'all. So we're gonna end this top layer. I put some red sauce on, and I'm going to put a generous amount of mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese on the top. And then we're gonna put it in a 350 oven for about 45 minutes. I usually cover it with foil for half an hour and then I take the foil off for the last 10 minutes or so. So there's all the rest of the mozzarella cheese and then I'm just gonna take some kind of shredded Parmesan and cover it the rest of the way. I have never made lasagna with heart of palm noodles, but I've used heart of palm noodles in like spaghetti type dishes, so I'm thinking this will work just fine. Gonna put it in the oven. I just kept opening these and checking them, y'all, because I just wasn't sure, and technically they have two more minutes for 15 minutes, but they look really nice and brown, so I'm really happy with how they look. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit and then we'll try them. How pretty are these, y'all? I cannot believe how perfect these came out. Like, sorry for the shadows, it's nighttime now, but I cut one. We haven't tasted it yet, but that's the middle. All right, I'm gonna put y'all up on the stand so we can taste it. All right, these are sausage raviolis that I made out of zucchini in the air fryer. My first attempt at anything in the air fryer, and that's my homemade marinara. Oh yeah. That is so good. Oh my gosh, y'all. I was sure I was gonna mess this up and it wasn't gonna come out because I totally did not have a recipe and I've never used an air fryer. That's good. But I just thought this sounded like something that would be good in the air fryer. Mm. And they are so good. Mmm. 
That was really easy too. That was good. I you made all those in one batch? One batch. Yeah, that's a lot of food actually. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm going to be an air fryer convert, y'all. <laughs> mm. This is the lasagna out of the oven. We let it sit for a good 20 minutes, y'all, so that it could kind of absorb everything. So I'm gonna try and slice into it here. Jack, I am not planning to eat anything else tonight. I am really full from that ravioli, but Jackson is ready to have seconds after the ravioli. So we're gonna let Jackson try this out for us. All right. All right, that did not come out pretty. Oof. It's gonna taste good, but that first piece did not come out pretty. It's still way too hot to come out pretty, but here it is. I'm gonna let Jackson cut into it and taste it for us, cause I'm stuffed. I probably should have let it sit another half hour. A big lasagna just really needs to sit. It's usually better the next day too. You got a big old cheese hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> there you go. I'm what do you think? I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the palm. I wondered beans. that they are so thick. Like they, they're, are they they're, still crunchy? They're a bit crunchy, yeah. Okay, maybe we should have boiled them longer. Yeah. Oh, well. So, this was my worry with these because they were so thick. I boiled them for about five minutes, but maybe I should have boiled the heart of palm noodles more like 10 minutes. Yeah, they got I was a bit hoping of they would lose the crunch in all of the baking time. So, oh, well. Maybe tomorrow they'll have less, less crunch after they sit. I don't know. So you win some, you lose some. The ravioli that I was worried about turned out amazing. The lasagna, the heart of palm noodles, because they're kind of thick, are still really crunchy, which is not what you want in a lasagna noodle. So I've used them as spaghetti before and they were not crunchy at all. But I think when they're sheets, they still had too much crunch to them. So probably boil them until you don't have any crunch before you use them in your lasagna is what I would say. That's what I'll try the next time because I think I still have some more left. But that's what we got. So that's the end of the day. It's been kind of a spend the day with us rather than just what we eat. I, I don't even think I showed you when I was eating. I showed you like after, but I had like some pieces of that. I had two pieces of that bacon that I showed you total. It was really, really tasty. The bacon that I made with the rosy cheeks barbecue rub on it. Did you get any of that? Yeah. It was I did. so Just good. That. So I had that. I had about three of the salami and brie bites. And yeah, I had a bunch of those too. I didn't record had a them. bunch of those. I had half of one of the biscuits that I made in meal prep today. They were yeah, like the size of my hand, but I had half of one. It was a biscuit with sausage hours. and bacon. Okay, so Jason's been eating all day as I've been meal prepping. And then I showed you our dinner. They're these. I mean, it's Liverpool, babe. We're fine. <laughs> These raviolis, I'm still so impressed with myself, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so, I'm, so, I'm glad. Because all we heard was, I don't like this. I don't think this is going to work. I'm not going to be an air fryer. Oh, look at these. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm a convert yet or not, y'all. But they worked out so well. They browned beautifully. They took and like 10 minutes. Everybody's ate eaten. And yeah. there are three left over still. So plenty yeah. of food. <laughs> Every, yeah, it, it made more than I realized. The kids really liked them. Caroline and Jack and Jason and I ate on them. Andrew is asleep. And, eight o'clock at night whatever. whatever he's had the weirdest hours lately but i'm going to finish my mojito and settle down for the night it's about eight o'clock i'm done eating for the day i think there's a possibility i might have a few bites of chocolate lily's chocolate salted caramel later i don't know but right now i'm just gonna go curl up and finish my mojito jason you plan on eating anything else tonight or i'll probably have a kirkland bar some point. Might have a bar yeah. and looks like he's still eating a few of these raviolis, but I had two of those raviolis. They're pretty big and they're mm -hmm. stuffed with sausage and cheese. So good. I had planned to have these as an appetizer and then lasagna, but they were really good. Did filling. I just not ask you if there was cheese in them and you were like, no, keto crumbs and zucchini? I did not say there was no cheese. Did we not just have that said, conversation? I thought you said in the crust. No, I said, is there cheese in these? Yeah, <laughs> it's, there were, it's ricotta. I, I've been fading in and out of consciousness. It's ricotta so. and sausage. They're good. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's like toasted ravioli in, in my head. And what do you fill ravioli with? Cheese, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Good night, y'all. We will see y'all again shortly. Bye, y'all. Be blessed. <laughs>